Greetings. Here is a little solar LED module. This is out of a, a small tabletop candle-like lantern device. It just sits in the top of the device, light shines on it, charges the battery up when it goes dark. The LED comes on, or that's the theory of it anyway. But this one has decided it's no longer going to light up. And I need to fix it. One thing I already notice with this is this little solar panel here is not a wonderful fit in the top. There's quite a, a gap around the edge here. And the whole thing is quite loose, so a lot of moisture will be able to get in through there. So, without further ado, let's rip it apart and see what's gone wrong with it. I'm not expecting much in here. Um, there's a solar panel, obviously, a AAA battery, according to the label, the LED, obviously, and a control and most likely boost circuit, because the LED won't go off a simple 1.2 volt and I'm NIMH battery. Voltage is too low, so there must be a boost circuit in here somewhere. Now I've taken the screws out. Prizes apart like that. Wow, that's pretty simplistic circuitry that. Solar panel. Actually, there can't be much moisture getting in through there, although the solar panel is loose and has a gap around it. It's sat in a completely sealed um, tray, effectively. The only possible ingress points of moisture are where the wires come through. And those look fairly well sealed. The white one there has got a bit of a, a gap. Perhaps I might want to put some more sealant in there. That's pretty nicely designed, actually. The battery is removable. That's unusual. 300 milliamp power, pretty good, and the tiny little, remember that the white one is plus and goes in that side, tiny little control circuit, really tiny. Wow, we get one four pin semiconductor component here, which is a YX8018. YX8018. Let's have a quick look, see what that is. 8018. The solar LED driver, surprise, surprise, one single integrated part for the entire thing. It just takes one inductor, which we have here, and that's the sum total of the circuitry. It has one component to drive the whole system, to do the charging by solar power, to do the switching when the light goes out, when it goes dark, and to boost it up enough for the LED to light. There's really nothing to go wrong there. Or if it has gone wrong, the only thing you can do is replace the only component there is. So, my guess is that the battery is flat. What's the current voltage on this battery? Is this going to show me my meter? Yep, okay. Currently the voltage is 110 millivolts. <laughs> That's a bit low, 0 0.1 volt. And I think that's gonna be a little bit too low for solar charging. So what this needs, to fix it is simply a booster charge. If 
I knew where my charger was, of course. So much crud on my desk. I don't know where anything is anymore. There's my charger. My good old uh, Vapex. Nothing to do with vaping, of course. Everything to do with battery charging. Get some power for it. It runs off. Twelve volts. Turn it on. And battery in. There we go. Already it's saying it's pretty much fully charged. I can get that to show without the glare. Wow, that charged fast. <laughs> Apparently. Now the voltage in this. 1.2 volts already. And at 300 milliamp hours on a charger that can do 2 amp hour batteries, that's going to be pretty much instantly charged. Let's just give it another go just to make sure. And that's already charged up. Let's uh, give it another quick charge just to make sure that it is actually getting a charge into it. Quick sip of coffee. Couldn't live without me coffee. I don't know what I'd do if I had to give up coffee. I'd rather give up life than give up coffee. Okay, so we've now got charge in this. 1.35, pretty good. Let's, since there's nothing else really to see in here, let's quickly put this back together. That one goes in there, that terminal goes in there, and the battery goes. Actually, I'll take that one out first. Battery in, and then add that terminal. And the LED lit briefly, yep. Yeah. We get a, a lighting up LED. A bit flickery perhaps, that. That because of light creeping into the solar panel. But yeah, that's now working again. Just over the... Uh, the long dark winter, I think the battery had just completely drained down to a level where it just would not charge up through solar power. So, that's nicely fixed. And now just to put it all back together again. Put the battery out. Put the charge and control unit back in. Is that why I'm wanting to go that way? Smaller screw. No, I just want to go there. Come on. Keep the wire out of the way. It looks like it's already been trapped at some point in the past. Um, I want a smaller screw there. For this really. Let's turn my power supply off. It's noisy. There we go. Okay, battery back in, positive connection, Let's squeeze that back in, root the wires away from the screw holes, keep it from getting trapped. If I can get it back together again. Are these asymmetric or not? These pins, do they want to go in a specific way around? They might do. There we go. 
Yeah, it's altogether quite a nice little unit, this. A lot better than some I've seen. It's actually from a, a lantern that I think my sister gave us from uh, Klaas Olsen in Sweden. And like most uh, things from Sweden, you can expect it to be uh, well thought out and well put together. It's just, it doesn't much like an English winter. There we go. And has that just gone again? <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh. I think we've got some slight dodginess with the switch actually as well, which might account for some of the problems. There we go. Almost the uh, switch is in the right position. Perfect. Well, that was quite interesting, especially seeing that uh, do everything little four pin component. The uh, YX8018. I haven't actually found a data sheet yet. But I have found various example circuits using it, so it's a fairly common component. Only really useful for this one job, of course, because that's what it's designed for. So, there we go. I've managed to repair our solar light. Thank you for watching, and as always, please subscribe and like this video because I'm sure you really loved it. Thanks again, and bye.